Hi there, my name is Stanley Steen from Team Devru, and in this video, we are going to review the native ads platform Outbrain. So let's dive in. This video is brought to you by Debaru.com, the number one affiliate marketing software platform. All right, here we are on the homepage of Outbrain, the native ads platform, and today we are going to review their platform. So let's dive straight in. And first, we're going to take a little look on their homepage to see if they have some information on their traffic, on the geos that they uh, they have traffic for. Let's see if we can get some inside information. And afterwards, we're going to go inside the platform and see how we can create a campaign using the Outbrain platform. So let's take a look. All right, the leading recommendation platform for the open web. All right. Outbrain is the technology company powering the discovery feeds on your favorite media with 344 billion monthly recommendations and 55 plus countries in the network. So not a whole lot of countries. Uh, 55 is not that much for a, uh, a native ads platform. Um, so, but if you want to promote in one of these specific 55 countries, uh, then perhaps it is a good choice. So let's continue and see what we can find. All right. Uh, the world's um, uh, top media owners and advertisers trust Outbrain. CNN, CNN MSN, uh, Hearst. I don't know Hearst, but whatever. All right. Uh, Outbrain for media owners. All right. Let's go to the tab advertisers. Advertise with us. All right. Drive return on ad spend on the open web. All right. Okay. The best advertising experiences are native. 87% consumers prefer native ads over banner. Higher engagement versus display, 40%. And three times increased time on site after clicking on native ads. So they have smart ads gallery, engage customers with new smart ads and start buying, choose your buying platform. Promote your brands, drive performance goals, grow your audience. 3000 leads using conversion bid strategy for Scythe, Scythe safe, I guess. Union Square Media, 62% cheaper CPC versus Facebook. All right. Let's uh, let's just dive straight in. We're gonna press login and we're gonna take a look on the inside of the platform of Outbrain. All right. So let's take a look. Let's see if we can create a native ads campaign. All right. Here we are inside the dashboard, and it seems like the data is loading. There we go. All right. And right here at the right top, we have the button add campaign. So we're going to go straight to adding a new campaign. All right. First, we want to name our campaign. I'm just going to call it Debaru. Then we want to select the campaign objective. So do we want awareness, traffic, app installs or conversions? All right. So uh, it's going to depend a little bit. Perhaps you uh, have a CPI offer. In that case, you will choose for app installs, uh, but most likely you want to have conversions. So we're going to select conversions. Then the creative format. We have standard, we have clip and we have carousel. Um, so with the carousel, we can uh, add up to 10 images or GIFs within each carousel. All right, and the standard, of course, is just a simple image or a GIF with a headline uh, and a source brand name, etc. And then the clip is a um, animated format supporting GIF and sound of MP4 files, along with brand logo and CTA. We're going to go with the standard because that's probably the one that you will use most. However, it is nice to have these options to add a clip or a carousel. Uh, maybe you want to test it out, see how it performs. We're going to go with the standard one for now. Conversion bid strategy, fully automatic, semi-automatic, target CPA or target return on ad spend. Um, let's see, semi-automatic, uh, bring traffic whoops, bring traffic to the highest 
converting sections. Note this mode doesn't change your campaign CPC and requires monitoring spent versus performance. So that would probably be my preference. Let's check the full automatic. Maximize the number of conversions within your budget. Note this might change your campaign CPC. Uh, then we have target CPA. Outbrain will optimize your bids to get your target CPA. Uh, so this might change your campaign CPC. And with the target return on ad spend, Outbrain will optimize your bids to get your target ROAS. Um, note, this um, uh, mode might change your campaign CPC as well. So we're going to go with the semi-automatic. Conversions. We recommend including both lower funnel and upper funnel conversions that are part of the same funnel. See your conversions currency VR by hovering over the conversion name when selecting it. Uh, let's see. URL-based conversion, event-based conversion. All right. Yeah, we're not going to use this right now. Uh, max CPC limits 100%. Uh, and then the cost per click right here. We're going to leave that as is for now. All right, because I don't know uh, what they're... Oh, right here. Suggested CPC range is within t uh, 52 cents to $1.74. So we're just going to leave it at uh, 84 cents. Since it's nicely in the middle, we can always increase it later on or decrease it if we need to. Then we have the budget, so we can set a daily budget. Um, let's see, so daily budget $50 uh, per day, right? Okay, so we can change this as well. So now it gets to a monthly budget or a campaign budget. Uh, but we're going to go with the daily budget for now. And the pacing is accelerated. Uh, perhaps uh, let's just set the pace at which your budget spends for a given time frame. Okay, so it's accelerated, but maybe if we have a higher budget, nope, we cannot change that. All right, so we cannot change the, the pacing on a daily budget. Uh, can we do that on a monthly budget? Yes, and on the campaign probably as well. Yep. So for the daily, we cannot um, set our pacing. So right now it's at accelerated, which is probably not exactly what I want, right? I might want to spread out my daily budget over the full 24 hours instead of a pace that is accelerated because then my daily budget might be spent in the first couple of hours of the day and then I do not generate any data for the rest of the day. So I don't really like, it's not really user friendly that Outbrain does not give you the option uh, to select your pacing when you're on a daily budget. Uh, and put it on a standard or daily target. Well, daily target wouldn't make sense on daily, but at least the standard. Uh, but we can only do it on accelerated when, with a daily budget. So I don't really like that, but let's continue. Then we have the schedule. Uh, so right now it says uh, run uh, con continuously, uh, start date. Let's put that on May 1st. Uh, or we can set a start and an end date, but we're just going to run continuously depending on the data, of course. The start time, daily at 12, well, at midnight, so that's perfect. Eastern Standard Time, so um, make sure that you uh, are aware that this is uh, the, um, the Eastern Standard Time. You can also set the schedule if you want, but I like to start out with just 24 hours. Then we have the target. So right here, we want to enter our uh, target location. So that's going to be our campaign URL, I assume. Uh, no, actually, this is our targeting. So um, perhaps we can enter a country here. Uh, let's say we want to promote in Spain this time. All right, Spain. Do they have traffic in Spain? Yes, 28 million potential reach. So that is good. Uh, we are also able to do more specific uh, targeting. As you can see, we can target specific states in Spain or we can target specific postal codes in Spain. So there goes your targeting. We can also exclude specific locations. So for example, if we do not want to run in Barcelona, uh, then we can uh, exclude Barcelona from the list. Uh, we cannot exclude the complete city it seems like so then we would add all the barcelona um, 
zip codes, right? And that way we can exclude Barcelona. Uh, too bad with that we cannot exclude the full city because we might want to do that if the data tells us that in Barcelona uh, we're not selling uh, anything, then I might want to turn down the whole city. Um, so in this case, we just have to do it postal code by postal code, which might take a little bit longer. Uh, but in the end, you can still exclude the full city. That's most important, of course. Advanced audience targeting include people who match at least one of the following. So we can add interests or attributes. All right, so for example, autos, uh, maybe uh, SUVs. Let's see what that does with the potential reach. Only 8,000, so that's very specific, right? So you gotta make sure that you have enough potential reach. Otherwise, if it's too specific, uh, then we might not have enough traffic to generate enough data during our testing campaign and slash or it might be very tough to scale if we don't have enough potential reach. Let's continue. Contextual IAB category targeting. So this is um, kind of like an interest targeting, I guess. So once again, we have automotive, but then it's more like auto parts and not the cars itself. Uh, so there's a slight change, but it's still some some sort of interest, this one called category, but it's still kind of like an interest based targeting. Then we have the placement. All right, so platform, operating system, browser. We can add all of those here. So we have the platforms. If we only want to run on desktop, for example, we would do it like this. And now our reach is only 6 million. Operating systems. I'm not gonna target on this at the start of my campaign, but one, once the data tells me so, I might want to. And then we have the browsers, same goes for the browsers. All right, so we're gonna leave it like this. <laughs> then we have the option Wi-Fi, run on Wi-Fi connection exclusively. <clears throat> so you could turn this on if you have the data that tells you um, that that is the best option for your campaign. Of course, it's not able on desktop, but if I would say platforms only mobile, smartphone, then I'm able to turn this on. Um, what I don't like, I want to have the option to run only on a mobile carrier as well. Uh, so that option does not seem to be included in Outbrain, uh, which is a, uh, a shame. Um, maybe you wouldn't use it as much, um, but in the end, if the data tells me that people on Wi-Fi do not convert well for my offer, but people on their uh, mobile data do convert well, then I want to have that option to exclude the Wi-Fi traffic and only run on mobile carriers. So that is not an option inside of Outbrain, unfortunately. Let's continue. High impact, run in high impact placements. Let's see what they mean with high impact. Uh, your content will be run in single ad brand exclusive placements across our publisher network. All right, so that will probably get our CPC up. Uh, minimum CPC applies and the potential reach is just gone. Uh, potential reach isn't available for high impact placements. So we do not know how much traffic we can expect with the high impact placements, which uh, is a little bit a problem because I want to know how big the reach is. If the reach is very, very small, then I'm not going to run on a high impact placement because even though the performance might be good, if there's not enough volume, then my campaign still might go to shit because I do not have enough traffic and traction on my offer. So I want to know how much traffic do they have for these high impact placements, but they cannot tell me, unfortunately. So perhaps it would be better to do this at a later stage. I would not launch my campaign with a high impact uh, settings if I don't know how much traffic there is. Ad blocker, exclude ad blocker users. Um, I don't know why you want to turn this down, but let's see where, where, what it does with the potential reach. Literally nothing, all right? Um, so we're not gonna exclude those users. Then track, so we have the suffix, enter your suffix tracking code for campaign level tracking. So right here, you would add your code. Third party pixels, you can also add your tracking pixel right here. Next up, let's continue, is the content. So right here, we can create our ads. 
First, we want to enter the uh, URL. So this is going to be the campaign URL. All right. We can decide to um, to load images and title from the URL. Let's go to debaru.com to show you how that works. All right, it's loading. It's not the fastest platform that I've seen. It takes a while to uh, to load. All right, let's see what it does. Debaru. All right, so it grabs the image and the name of the website, but we do not want that. Of course, we're going to create our own. Um, our own ads. So we're going to call the site Debaru. Um, actually, Debaru, how does that look if I just put it like this? Debaru.com. So it will get under here, right? Debaru.com. All right. The title is Debaru Headline 1. Let's just call it Debaru Headline 1. And then we can add variations, which is very nice. Debaru Headline 2. All right. And then we already have the Debaru image in there, but let's just add another image to see if it uh, generates the variations properly. So we should have four creatives. There we go. So we have uh, two headlines and two images, right? So Outbrain automatically mix and matches those two headlines with those two images, giving us four different creatives. So I like that they do that because that way you don't have to upload your images over and over again for each variation and the same for your headlines. It automatically just makes a match. So each headline you only have to add once and each image you only have to add once as well. And then you have multiple ads, which is quite nice. And then we have the CTA. So we can select which CTA we want to use. Um, can we we cannot add multiple CTAs, which is uh, too bad because m I might want to split test my call to actions. Uh, so that is not an option inside of Outbrain. Then I would have to basically create another campaign with a CTA, I guess. Or can I select sign up? OK, so I can select them specifically for specific um, ads. So that way I can basically copy it and put one with a different uh, CTA, uh, but then I would still need to create all my ads manually because I might want to change these call to actions. So it's uh, a little bit unfortunate that they don't have the same option of mixing and matching, uh, but then for multiple call to actions, maybe I want to add two or three. Uh, so it would be great if they mix and matches those with the headlines and the images as well. But we have to do that manually, unfortunately. All right. So that's it. Next up is the launch campaign, creating your campaign. And all right, congrats on creating a campaign. Simply enter your payment details. All right, perfect. Uh, of course, you would have to need a payment detail to start launching your campaign and start generating traffic. Um, all right, so we have discovered the Outbrain platform, the native ads platform. Um, there are some things that are missing. There are some things that are not exactly the way that I personally want it. Uh, so on some specific parts, they don't really give you a lot of options. But then on the other side, it's also very nice that they mix and match your headlines with your images. Uh, so there are also some good parts about Outbrain. Not a whole lot of countries available. So make sure to check whether uh, they have traffic for your specific geo that you want to run in. So they did have enough traffic for Spain. But like we saw on the homepage, they only have about 55 plus uh, countries in which they have traffic. So it's not going to be suitable for every campaign, unfortunately. Um, other than that, the platform is pretty decent and the options are OK. So overall, a pretty decent platform, not the most extensive platform uh, that there is. It's not giving you all the options that are available on some other platforms, but overall, it's pretty decent. So that's going to be it for this review of the Outbrain native ads uh, platform. Uh, but of course, there will always be more to come. So stay tuned. Make sure to drop a like and a subscribe to get notifications when we have some new videos coming out. And for now, I want to say thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.
This video is brought to you by Debaru.com, the number one affiliate marketing software platform.